Morning Show warns teachers of principal clowns in America. To find out if your principal is a principal clown of America, go to myapenow.com. That's myapenow.com. Or call us at 770-347-8797. If you are a member who would like to add your principal to the clown list, email us at aggressiveprotection at yahoo.com. Now, let's talk about these clowns with Caesar. You know, there's a lot of clowns out there, principal clowns. Principal clowns out there harassing teachers, treating them like dog doo-doo, and not representing uh, their, their profession the, the way it should be represented. You know, as, as a principal, you should be a leader, okay? You should be a leader. But you have these principal clowns out there treating teachers like dog doo-doo, okay? And, and, and to me, it's just it's pitiful. Uh, that uh, these uh, uh, administrators are out there treating teachers uh, like they're nothing, not, e- not even treating them like professionals. And to me, when you are in a school where you are, uh, uh, where your leader, which is the principal, is not uh, uh, showing you uh, how to be a better teacher or leading by example, at that point, you need to be uh, in another school with a great leader, with a better leader, that's someone that's trying to make you a better teacher. That's why we call these principals out. Principal clowns of America. And every now and then they pop up. And when they pop up, we need to let our members know where these clowns are and where they're located, what school uh, they're in. They, our members need to know where these clowns are. Okay. But I want to talk to you uh, for a while and, and we hope that you tune in to the Caesar Morning Show starts next week at 10 o'clock. That's right, 10 o'clock. I know some of you will be at school. Hopefully you can listen in or, or you can uh, uh, hear it later when you get home. Uh, but we're going to be on at 10 o'clock every morning at 10 o'clock. And we're trying to get everything uh, up and running so we can have a good show. But I want to, you know, so so... Uh, so these are like, uh, test, uh, shows, <laughs> I guess you can say test, test shows. And, uh, but we, you know, but I mean everything I'm saying, uh, you know, so this is very important for you to, to hear what I'm, what I'm saying on today. We are live right now on the Caesar, Caesar morning show. I'm excited. I know it's not morning, <laughs> but we're on right now trying to make sure this show is going to be a great show. You can tell your friends, tell everybody, you know, about the Caesar Morning Show. I'm Caesar, and I'm home, and I'm ex- excited what's going on. We're going to jump right into uh, uh, two laws I want to talk to you about that are principles that are violating every day. They are violating these laws, these Georgia statutes, these Georgia laws every day. Uh, and so I'm excited uh, to talk to you about it, uh, these laws. And so you can be aware of your rights. It's important to be aware of your rights. And these principals, I'm telling you, they're clowns. And what they do is they destroy teachers' career. And if you don't know about uh, what this clown is trying to do uh, to you, if you don't know anything about what this clown is trying to destroy your career or trying to uh, uh, write you up, put you on the PDP, if you don't know this clown is setting you up, you may miss the whole thing and your career may be destroyed. Okay, well, we're going to talk about, these are the laws we're going to be talking about when we come back. We're going to be talking about 20-2-131 and 20-2-132 in a minute. Welcome to the Caesar Morning Show, brought to you by the Association of Professional Educators. APE, the most powerful and aggressive teachers union of the South. Protecting Georgia teachers from bad drive-by evaluations. Remember, you'll never find peace of mind without APE. For protection, contact us at myapenow.com or call us at 770-347-8797. All right, we back. We're going to be talking about, we got so much to talk about. Uh, we want to talk about 20-2-131 and 20-2-132. Okay. This is what principals violate every day. And it's important for you to know your rights. When you are part of a member of the Association of Professional 
educators, better known as eight, you're going to get aggressive representation. And when you're a part of the Association of Professional Educators, we fight and protect our members. That's what we do. Okay. But these clowns, these principal clowns, they will try uh, uh, to uh, destroy your career. Uh, they'll lie to you. They'll put you on a PDP. Uh, and, and when they have never even came into your classroom and observed you. Okay. And these clowns will do this to, your, to you. They'll try to destroy your career. If you're not a part of an aggressive teacher's union, I know you get tired of me uh, uh, saying that, but it's true. If you're not a part of an, uh, of, of an, of a, an aggressive teacher's union, they will destroy your career. Now, let's get this jump right into this, okay? Uh, 20-2-131, okay? These are um, articles uh, uh, that the uh, legislators came up with in the General Assembly. The Georgia General Assembly came up with these, uh, with these laws to protect teachers because they knew what teachers was teachers was going through. So they came up with these laws to protect teachers from these crazy administrators. I like to say something, okay? <laughs> okay, now 20-2-131. It is a violation if a administrator is making you feel uh, that making uh, uh, making teaching uh, unattractive to you. You went in uh, to uh, become a teacher because you love giving back. You didn't do it for the money because teachers don't make a lot of money. They do okay in some areas, but they really don't make a lot of money. Teachers go into teaching because they want to give back and they love what they do. And one day they are teaching and they look up and a student is actually listening to, listening, listening to what they're saying. Okay? So teachers love what they do. So the generous assembly... They, they understood this. They understood this. So what they said was this. 20-2-131, paragraph 5. Making teaching an attractive and rewarding profession in order to attract and retain and fully utilize highly, highly competent personnel in all public schools of the state. So it's a violation, and I use this all the time in my, when I, I do grievance against administrators, and, and I just tear their butt up with this. It is a violation if the administrator is making your job feel less attractive or unattractive. Okay? That's a violation because they wanted you to enjoy what you do. They didn't want you to come in to the school and being harassed by your crazy administrator, this principal clown of, of a of administrator. They wanted you to come and love what you do because they realize it's hard, you know, dealing with these kids today. They understand, they understand it. So the least thing you need is administrators treating you like, like you may be a uh, uh, tall children, treating you like tall children, okay? They're talking down to you. And, and they do this in front of students, students sometimes talk down to you in front of a student. What kind of what kind of stuff is that? When you are talking down to your teacher in front of students. That's why we are so aggressive. That's why we kick butt. That's why we go and protest against these principal clowns, because these clowns would destroy your career if you allow them to do it. So you need to be a part of a, 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 a union that going to go in there and bring these clowns to their knees. And that's eight. You need a union going to go, go, go in there and, 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 and file a PSC complaint against them. Because what they're doing to y'all is, is, you know, it's just really unconscionable. OK, but you can't stand by and allow these these um, crazy clown principles. To destroy your career. You work hard for it. You went to college for your degree. You don't put all your the hours in. Some of you have a master's degree. Some of you working on a doctor's degree. And just you get with this one nut. This one nut of administrator. And it's all over. Your certificate is, is destroyed. 
we are the force that protect teachers from this nonsense, these crazy clowns. We are the force. So I know how you feel when you're in these crazy schools with these crazy clowns and you feel like you're not really supported. That's all teachers want want to be is supported, okay? So 20-2, that's 131. That is a violation if you feel like uh, uh, if the administrator make you feel like what you're doing is unattractive, or you're not you're not worth anything. Uh, uh, the, the hard work you put into what you what you come in to do every morning is not worth nothing, and you feel and you it gets to the point that you even hate getting up and coming to work because of the stress they put you under. And I'm saying to you, you shouldn't allow no administrator to put you under no stress. You know that's why you need to be a part of a union that fights for your rights. And we, we don't allow our, men, our members to be just stressed out by no administrator without us doing something about it, uh, kicking some butt. We just don't allow it. Now, I also want to talk to you about 20-2-132. Okay? And these are the primary, primary goal of the articles. The primary goal. The reason why uh, the General Assembly came up with this. And this is a violation Because, you know, they violate this as well. The reason why the General uh, Assembly came up with this is because of this. Paragraph one, a a substantial reduction in the number of teachers who leave the teaching profession for for reasons of job dissatisfaction. If what that principal is doing to you every day lead to a uh, 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 job dissatisfaction, okay? You've been dissatisfied. It make you feel some type of way, as Rich Humphrey Kwan said, and make you feel some type of way. Then they're violating this statute, 20-2-132. And, sh- and, and, and at that point, if you're with the right union, they should be filing a grievance on 20-2-132, a violation of 20-2-132. Okay, and that's what we do. That's why we file grievances. Most some unions don't even file grievances. We file grievances, and, and, and you know because everything can't be a letter all the time. Sometimes we write letters and things they they back off. But I tell teachers all the time, and I learned this from my mentor. He said, "Norris, everything can't be a letter. We can't write letters for everything. You got to go kick some ass, and that's the only thing they understand." And the way you do that is by filing a grievance, 20-2, that's 132, filing a grievance on that, on that, I start to say something else, you, you file a grievance on that mess, and you kick some butt, you get them in that grievance, you kick that butt, you make them, uh, you make them understand that if I have to, and I'm talking about myself, if I have to come down uh, to the central office and have a grievance against you, I'm telling you, it's going to be a humdinger. And you remind them why you don't want me coming down to your central office representing any one of my members. I make them understand that. And half of the time they try to arrest me. I've been, and sometimes I get arrested. I get back out. And I continue to fight for what I believe uh, is right for teachers. You have to know these rights. You have to know your rights. And if you're paying a union that you feel is not protecting you, protecting these rights, you know, then it's time to join a union that's going to fight for that, going to protect your livelihood. You have you have a family to feed. You have some of you are taking care of your mother, your elderly mother. And, you know, you know and this is thing. This thing is serious. And they are evil. Some of these are principles. What they do is very, very evil. They harass you, make you feel as if, you know, that you're incompetent. They tell lies. They write stuff on your evaluation that's not even true. Sometimes they get other administrators to come in there and and, uh, give you an evaluation, and they're not even your evaluator. That's why Ape called these these bad drive-by evaluations. We call these pop-ups bad drive-by evaluations. It's like a a bad drive-by because what they're doing is destroying your career. And to me, that's like being killed. 
because they are, it's like a bad drive-by. We'll be back in a minute. thing I want you to understand there's many things I want you to understand but this is important okay we talked about 20-2-131 and 20-2-132 I want to talk to you now about your summative some of you are getting ready to go through your summative some of you have gone through your summative sometimes and not most times now let me take that back sometimes most times the administrator tried to blackball you through your summative. Okay, you say, okay, man, what that means? What the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about that the, the, these, these principal clowns, they try to use your summative to destroy your career. Now, you may have escaped through the observations and evaluations, but they'll wait till you, it's time for your summative. They'll call you in, okay? And they'll try to give you a negative on your summative. Now, what that does, if you get two negative within, within five years, two of them, the PSC asks for your certificate until you, have, until you are able to remediate. But how can you remediate if you don't have a certificate? Because you have to have a job to remediate. The PSC wants you to have a uh, actually have a job to remediate. Okay. So how can you remediate if you don't have a job? Now these principal clowns, they know this. The ones that are smart, they know this. The one that are incompetent don't know it, but the ones that do, they know this. And so they try to use your summative in a way to get you back. So now let's say if they give you a negative summative. Okay. And you, and, and, and and next year, you get another negative summative within within five years, right? Well, the PSC going to say, you're going to get a letter from the PSC saying, we're going to suspend your certificate you had an opportunity to remediate. See? They know that. And, I, and so you have to be aware. You cannot allow these clowns to destroy your career. And, and you may say, well, you, have, you, you may can tell I'm very passionate and what I'm talking about and what I do, okay? All right? We don't edit nothing here at the Season Morning Show. Nothing, nothing is edited. If it come out slain, slain is what it is. <laughs> it's just that simple. Because we just tell it like it is. I have three degrees. I can, I, I can tell it to you totally professional, professionally. But I, I, just, I, I like telling you the truth, telling you straight, giving it to you raw, Okay? Because when we go out there to fight for your rights, we don't play with it. I don't walk in no building trying to be professional. And people, my members that know me know that. You have a choice. I give them a choice. You can fix their evaluation, fix their, uh, give them a, uh, 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 a certificate, or, I'm sorry, give them a contract, or I'm going to bring hell to you. That's just what, that's what we do at APE. You know, because, you know, you said, Mr. Haynes, why are you so aggressive? You get, get on, Give them an opportunity. I'm going to give them an opportunity. I'm going to give them an opportunity to give me the contract. I'm going to give them an opportunity to not to 
put you on a PDP. We're going to write a letter to the superintendent, all the board members. We're going to send it to the governor's office. And then we're going to come out there and protest against you. Then we're going to file a grievance. I, you know, I, we just we do our best to try to destroy that principle. Because I, we truly believe that, that they are evil. I believe that. Because I've seen so much in the 20 years I've been representing teachers. How they have tried to destroy these good teachers' career. I mean, great teachers. And they have tried to destroy their career because they don't like them. They don't like the teacher. Or the teacher won't kiss their butt. We're going to talk about the, the administrator wants you to eat doo-doo. We're going to talk about the administrator wants you to kiss their butt because they kiss butt to get there. So they want you to do the same thing. Okay? We're going to talk about that. We got bills to pay. <laughs> That's right. We have bills to pay. So we're going to talk about that when we come back. Thanks. Welcome to the Caesar Morning Show, brought to you by the Association of Professional Educators. APE, the most powerful and aggressive teachers union of the South. Protecting Georgia teachers from bad drive-by evaluations. Remember, you'll never find peace of mind without APE. For protection, contact us at myapenow.com or call us at 770-347-8797. All right, look, now, I want to talk about now about how administrators want you to eat doo-doo. Not literally, but want you to eat doo-doo, <laughs> okay? They want you to kiss their butt. That's what I mean, okay? They want you, because they kiss butts for so many years, they want you to do the same thing, okay? And they want you to eat that doo-doo. Now, if you eat that doo-doo, they love you to death. If every time she come in, you or he, the principal, come in and and and, and just and you kiss that butt, smile, bring them donuts and coffee and all this type of stuff, and just smiling, grinning, and you know, saying, "As long as you're doing all that, oh, they love you to death, love you to death." But when you're a person or a teacher or uh, that would that's going to look them straight in the face and tell them that what you did to me is wrong, then they're they going to try to get you, put you in, put you in your place. And they do that by using the evaluation process. All of a sudden, that you was doing, you 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 was a teacher uh, uh, had great reviews. You had threes, and and uh, they don't like to get fours, but you had a lot of threes. Okay, some of you may be getting four. I don't know. And you had all these threes, and all of a sudden now, you can't teach anymore. <laughs> you've been, you've been teaching all these years, and all this, all of a sudden you just can't teach. Like you just fell off a. Uh, a wallet milling truck. You just can't teach anymore. Now, you've been teaching something you've been teaching almost 20 some years. Some of you 10 years, 10 to 20 some years. Uh, like my grandma was a some odd year. Some odd year. You've been teaching 10 to 20 some odd years. <laughs> and all of a sudden, you cannot teach. Now, something's wrong with that. Hell, you just, how do you been a, been getting a great evaluation and you get to this crazy? I start to say something. You This crazy. This crazy uh, uh, clown, principal clown, and all of a sudden you can't teach anymore. Now that's stupid by itself to me, and uh, that 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 alone tell you that something is wrong with the individual that is va that that is uh, giving you an evaluation. 
And I had one administrator, I asked, I said, now, how do you think that all these years she's been getting great uh, 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 evaluations from all these administrators to get to you, and all of a sudden she can't teach anymore? Well, Mr. Hey, I, you know, evidently, you know, sometimes, you know, uh, it takes other administrators to point out. Was, she just finally got caught. She just finally got caught. Finally got caught to hell. You, 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 you're a sorry-ass administrator, Okay. You just a sorry ass administrator. That's what you are. I told him, and I told him that. I told him that. Of course, he lied. You know, almost got arrested. But I still called him a sorry ass. And, when the, and then when the cops got out there, I still called him. And I told the, 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 the officer that he was a sorry ass administrator. Because he was a sorry ass administrator. And we picking him. And he's gone. <laughs> he's gone bye bye. And I saw that to say this, it's not true. Stop believing what these administrators are telling you. It is not true. You cannot be all of a sudden you've been a, a great teacher, getting great reviews, and all of a sudden you can't teach anymore. That's, that's stupid. And if you're not careful, they will have you on a PDP. I had one teacher was on a PDP, and she was trying to get off this PDP. I mean, every, you know, when she joined APE, she came, when she joined APE, she was a, a member of PAGE. She was a member of PAGE and she joined APE. I don't know why she joined PAGE. It was just a waste of money, you know, but she joined PAGE and she came and she came to my office. She joined and she was showing me all this stuff that she had done and how, you know, she's doing everything the principal tell her to do. And for some reason, she still not having took off the PDP. And I looked at the lady. I looked at her like she was crazy. I said, what are, what are you talking about? This thing is not real. See, after a while, they'll, they'll have you thinking that you are the problem. After a while, you'll start believing that because you've been beat up by these, these principal clowns for so long. After a while, you'll start questioning yourself. Are you a good teacher? You'll start believing what they're telling you. And they'll put you on this PDP having you reading books that they, that they never have, re have read before. Hell, they can't even pronounce the words in the book. But they're going to have you uh, uh, reading a book that they don't even know anything about the book. Okay? That's crazy by itself to me. And so after a while, you'll think that you are really a bad teacher. And you you actually think, and you this lady was actually trying to do the PDP. She was actually trying to, you know, and they give you so much stuff, they know you can't get it done. They just give you a bunch of shit. They know you can't get it done. Because they're already made up in their mind that they're going to know and renew you. Some of them try to know renew you and never put you on a PDP. Never have put you on a PDP. You never, they have never called you, called, called you into their office, never told, told you that you had a problem, and all of a sudden now they're trying to know and renew you and put you on a PDP. See, and if you were the other unions, you don't know that, hell, your ass would be going, you, they're, 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 you'd be heading out the door, terminated. See, we don't, we don't allow that to happen at 8. At 8, I know that they have a, they got to give you a right to remediate. They just can't just call you and all of a sudden you're a bad teacher and just fire you. You know, if you haven't signed a uh, the fourth contract, you're, you're a non-tenured teacher in Georgia. In Georgia, you have to sign four contracts, consecutive contracts, to be a tenured teacher in Georgia. And if you leave uh, that, uh, that county and go to another school system, you have to sign the second contract in Georgia and you're tenured. But I always tell teachers, if you're a non-tenured teacher and want to be a member of eight, it's just like being tenured. When you join the Association of Professional Educators, better known as eight, you are signing your tenure, <laughs> your fourth contract in my mind, because we are so aggressive and we get things done. So if you are, if, if, if you're not a tenured teacher, don't feel bad. Join eight and become tenured. <laughs> join eight and become tenured. And, and and I'm not just saying all this to pump you up. You know, this is true. You can ask anybody about eight or about Mr. Haynes. They'll tell you we are very aggressive and we fight hard for the rights of teachers. In Clayton County, I passed something called the Teacher Bill of Rights when I was on the school board in Clayton County. The Teacher Bill of Rights. And they just got rid of the whole thing, threw it away. The Teacher Bill of Rights. I've been trying to fight and protect teachers for a long time. And I'm passionate, you know, uh, you know what I do. I'm passionate, very passionate. I love 
trying to protect teachers from these principal clowns. And I said this, well, I got to go to a commercial, then I'm going to come back and I'm going to tell you what's on my mind. All right. All right, all right. I got a great producer, y'all. I got a great producer, you know, and uh, sometimes I just keep talking, talking, and talking, <laughs> trying to get me to go uh, to a break. But uh, so uh, just, just just bear with me, okay? Everybody, I'm asking everybody to bear with me, okay? Because uh, just trying to get everything. Because uh, like I said, we don't edit anything here at the Season Morning Show. Uh, also, you know, um, we have Mr. Leroy Walker, okay? He's going to be my co-host. Mr. Leroy Walker, you will all also be able to call in, and we'll be able to talk to you live on air, okay? But you need to turn down your your uh, your radio on your side, okay? So it won't be getting the feedback, okay? So you, if you hear feedback, just turn down your volume if, you, if you're if you listening to us live, okay? When you call in, that's when you call in. Uh but let me just finish up by saying this. These crazy administrators, let me just do this, okay, since I'm running out of time here. These crazy administrators do not, let me, let me say this, I want to say this slow. These crazy principal clowns administrators do not care about you. They just don't. They want you to think they care about you. They want you to think it's for the children Everything is for the children. If it's for the children, they will leave you alone and let you teach the children. If it was, if it was about the children. It's just like that. I tell these superintendents, they come in and they try to give me this, this bull about their, I'm just here for the children, Mr. Hay. I'm just here for the children. And I look at them and say, here for the children? What kind of hogwash is that? What do you mean you're here for the children? If somebody called them today from another state and offered them more money, they'll go and be with those children, right? <laughs> they don't give me that. I don't have time to... Teachers are for the children. They are for the children. They are the ones on the front line. They are the ones that get beat up the most. They are the ones that are not treated fairly. They are the ones that's not represented well. So they are the ones that care about the children, not the superintendents and principals. The teachers, that take this mess home with them every day. Take this stress home every day. They are the one. We got a new principal clown coming up in a minute. Give me a minute and then we're going to end this thing. I got a new principal clown in Atlanta. At Atlanta. <laughs> Atlanta. <laughs> coming up. The Caesar Morning Show warns teachers of principal clowns in America. To find out if your principal is a principal clown of America, go to myapenow.com. That's myapenow.com. Or call us at 770-347-8797. If you are a member who would like to add your principal to the clown list, email us at aggressiveprotection at yahoo.com. Now, let's talk about these clowns with Caesar. Miss Ford, Miss Ford is a clown. Miss Ford in Atlanta Public School is a principal clown in America. We found another clown, and it's Miss Ford. And Miss Ford, if you listen, listening, you a clown. You a principal clown. Okay. So uh, if you, if you think we're talking about you and making you, your name look bad, you know, blah 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 blah, get your lawyer because you might, you know you are a clown. You are a principal clown. Okay. And I testify that in court. When the judge asked me, asked me, did I say, I said, yes, Miss Ford is a clown. 
She's a principal clown. All right. Now that you know it's recorded, you can download it, give it to your lawyer, and good luck to you. See you in court. Now, now that we have talked about uh, this clown, if you want to know where this clown is located, you need to know where this clown is located. It's important to know where this clown is located. That that way you won't you will not run into this clown. Okay, you you don't want to run into this clown because you can run into this clown. Okay, and you could or, or this clown might want to hire you at their school. You need to know that this this principal is a principal clown of America. Okay, you need to know that. And how you do that? I just told you about Miss Ford is a clown. Go to my 8 nowcom Go to my 8 nowcom Okay. Under Principal Clowns. Go to our website. You're going to see services. You go down there and you're going to see Principal Clowns of America. Click that and you'll find out where this clown is located. And if you're not a member and you're transfer transferring to different schools, you need to know where these clowns are. We call out these clowns. So you won't run into this clown. Okay. And this clown won't destroy your career. We have to warn our members about these clowns. She's a clown. Principal clown of America, Miss Ford. So go find out what school Miss Ford is at, located. Go to my 8 And while you're there, how about join the Association of Professional Educators, the most powerful teacher union in the South? How about join so you can be protected, so you don't have to worry no more about are you protected? You know you got a crazy man on your side, Caesar. I'm Caesar and I'm home. I'm, I thank y'all for listening tonight. Uh, the show starts next week and the app will be ready. And I'll come on uh, live and let you know when you can go to the app store for iPhones and get your app. And you can uh, you can listen to the uh, the um, <laughs> the season morning show from the app. It will let you know when we are on air. It will also, you can also join, you know, someone that wants to join the Association of Professional Educators, send them to uh, that app so they can sign up from the app and plus listen to the most, uh, the, the best show in Lana, <laughs> not Atlanta, but Lana. So we're glad that you uh, hung around. Some of you that listen to this show tonight live, I hope you was able to get uh, some, some valuables uh, uh, valuable stuff tonight. Okay. I hope you learned something tonight. Okay. I hope you was able to pick up on some good stuff. Okay. That, that you can, uh, that would be, uh, helpful to you. But I tell you what, if you didn't pick up on anything, pick up on this, join the association of professional educators. We are very aggressive and we'll fight for you and you can rest. You never have peace of mind until you join Abe. I can tell you that. You will never have peace of mind. This is your boy Caesar, and we'll see you on the morning show on next week. Thank you so much, and thank you for listening. Goodbye. Welcome to the Caesar Morning Show, brought to you by the Association of Professional Educators. Ape, the most powerful...